What is going on guys, it is Panjano here and today I'm going to bring you guys the ultimate FPS increase guide for Black Ops 4 and more specifically Blackout. This video will be providing you guys regardless of your system specs, whether that be a ultra high end system all the way down to an ultra low super old potato PC with the best optimizations possible with room to personalize them so you can find your fine balance of visual quality and FPS. So to ensure that you guys get the best results, make sure that you do follow along with as many of these steps as you possibly can. And as always guys, if you guys are happy with this video and are happy with the results, please leave a like on the video as it helps me out tremendously. Alongside leaving any comments, questions, queries, or suggestions for other content in that comment section down below, alongside any results you guys have achieved, whether that be for multiplayer, blackout, or zombies. And if you guys do enjoy content like this and you wish to stay up to date with the latest content coming to this channel, please do consider pressing that subscription button alongside the bell notification to be notified instantly whenever I upload. So with all that said and done out of the way, let's get straight into the video to keep this as fast and effective as possible. Right, so starting off with inside of the guide, what you guys will need to go ahead and do is navigate into the description down below and where you'll find a download link or two download links for the FPS increase pack in which I've provided and compiled for you guys. This FPS increase pack is just a simple pack you can download, which contains all of the optimizations, configs, and everything else you'll need to follow along with this guide. Once you've got one of them downloaded, put it onto your desktop and you should be given a file called Black Ops 4 FPS Pack by Panj. To extract this pack, you'll need a program called 7-Zip or WinRAR. If if you don't have either of those programs installed, simply take yourself over to Google, simply Google one of the programs, install one of them to your PC, come back to this video, and we can continue on. Now that you guys have got one of those programs installed to your PC, what we can now go ahead and do is right click on the pack you downloaded, and select the extract here option. Once you guys have extracted it, you'll then be given a folder on your desktop with an identical name. Go inside of the folder and you'll be met with a configs folder and an optimizations folder. We can simply exit out of that folder and we can now start by applying some optimizations. So starting off with a basic optimization and something in which is good practice, especially for games like Black Ops, is if you do have an SSD installed to your machine and you don't have Black Ops currently installed to it, make sure that you do uninstall the game and install it to your SSD if you can, mainly because of the large installation size and these files are constantly being read by the hard drive or SSDs so for the best results possible and to minimize input lag, you should find the best results by installing this to an SSD if you do have one in your system. If you don't have an SSD in your system, that's completely fine. We can skip that step and we can start off by optimizing our game now. So to start off with inside of the optimizations themselves, we can navigate down into the Battle.net Launcher. Inside of Battle.net Launcher, what we can then go ahead and do is navigate to the top left hand side and click on the Blizzard logo. Following on from there, we can then go down to the Settings tab and we can start by optimizing the Blizzard Launcher itself. To do this, we're going to navigate down to the General tab. We're then going to navigate down to these two drop down menus here, which is when I launch your game and when I click X at the top of the window. When I click X at the top of the window, we're going to go into the drop down menu for this and select Exit Battle.net. Then navigating down to when I launch a game, again opening up the drop down menu and this time we're going to select Exit Battle.net completely. This will mean that whenever you go and boot up a game, whether it be Black Ops or any other games through the Blizzard Launcher, you'll actually close out of the Blizzard Launcher entirely so it's not running in the background soaking up any excess resources. Proceeding on from there, what we can then go ahead and do is scroll all the way down to the bottom. Once you guys do that, you'll then find the advanced settings. Under here, we're going to go to Use Browser Hardware Acceleration when available and uncheck this option. It will then ask you to restart the Battle.net launcher, but we're not going to do this yet, so hit restart later. After applying that, what we can then go ahead and do is go to the streaming tab on the left hand side, and we can actually uncheck enable streaming to turn off all of the streaming services with inside of the Blizzard launcher. After you guys are done inside of there, what we can now go ahead and do is hit done, and we can then go ahead and simply exit out the Blizzard launcher and open it back up. Once you guys are back inside of the Blizzard launcher, we can now navigate down to Black Ops 4. We can then go to the options menu found here in the top left hand side and select the drop down menu. With inside of here, we can then go ahead to the show in Explorer option, which will then open up the game folder or the game directory. Simply go into the Call of Duty Black Ops 4 folder found here. With inside of here, we can then start off by applying some EXE fixes to the game applications themselves. To start off with this, what we're going to be doing is going down to Black Ops 4 Launcher, go to the application file, right click on the Black Ops 4 Launcher, go down to properties. With inside of here, we're then going to navigate to the compatibility tab found here at the top. We're then going to select the options for disable full screen optimizations. We're then going to click on change high DPI settings. And we're going to override the high DPI scaling behavior performed by press OK press apply and OK. We're then going to repeat that step for the Black Ops 4 application and Black Ops 4 underscore boot application. We're then going to proceed to go into the FPS pack provided by double clicking and this time going into the configs folder. Inside of here what we're now going to do is actually decide on which config we're going to install to our game. For the fastest and best results you'll more than likely wish to match the config folder found inside of here with your system specs. So if you're on a high-end system you can go with the high-end config. If you're on a low-end system go with the low-end config. If you're on an ultra low-end system and you want the best FPS possible and you don't care about visual fidelity select the ultra low-end config. So simply make a decision on which config you wish to go with. Once you guys have decided simply go ahead and double click on the folder. And with inside of that folder you'll be met with a config configuration file that looks very similar to this. With inside of here before we install this to our game we actually need to do one thing and actually set up a command in here to match our system specs for the best optimizations possible. It's extremely easy and quick to do and to start off with doing this what we need to go ahead and do is actually double click on the config file and it should open it up in notepad. 
but inside of here what we're going to be doing is dragging this all the way down to the bottom until we find the option for thread count for handling job queue worker underscore threads equals and it should be set to the value of six now what we're going to be doing is we're going to be setting this value to match our system specs in terms of its thread count this might sound a little bit complicated but it's actually very simple and easy to do to find out how many threads you have on your system all you need to do is navigate to your taskbar found here at the bottom right click on the taskbar and select task manager with inside of task manager we're going to be navigating up to the top left hand side and clicking on performance we're then going to click on the cpu tab and in the bottom right of the cpu tab you should be seeing cores and logical processors this is the amount of threads your system has so for me as you can see i have six logical processors on my system so i'm going to be navigating over to the right hand side and setting my worker underscore threads command to six once you guys have set that up, the only other command we actually need to change is actually to come down to the enable threaded rendering just underneath it. And we're going to set this option to one if you guys have an NVIDIA graphics card installed. If you don't have an NVIDIA graphics card installed and you have an AMD Radeon graphics card or you're running on the integrated APU of your system, you're going to be setting this value to zero. But seeming I have an NVIDIA graphics card installed to my system, I'm going to be switching this to one. Once you guys have got that set up, all you need to do then is simply navigate to the top, select file, and hit save, as you've now successfully set up your optimized game config files for the best results possible. We can then simply exit out of the task manager, and we can exit out the notepad, and we can drag the config file located in the FPS increase pack over to the right hand side. What we can now go ahead and do is actually navigate down into the Battle.net launcher once again, this time going over to the options drop down menu, clicking on show in folder. With inside of here, we're then gonna simply navigate into the Black Ops 4 game directory, with inside of here, we're then going to navigate into the players folder. Then what we're going to be doing is navigating over to the right hand side to our optimized config file, right clicking on that config file and selecting copy. We're then going to navigate back over to the left hand side to our game directory, right clicking and selecting paste. You're then going to replace the file in this destination to install this config. Once that's then done, we're then going to be navigating up to the top here to the folder with inside of here, which will have a bunch of random numbers and letters, which might look different to mine. So don't worry about what this folder is called, as it's uniquely set for your profile, so it might be a different name than mine. Double click on the folder, and again, you'll find another config file with inside of here. And what we're simply going to go ahead and do is right click and hit paste and replace this file as well. Once you guys have replaced both of the files in this destination, you've then successfully installed your optimized config files, and we can go ahead and actually exit out of both of the folders as that's now complete. Now proceeding on from there, what we can now go ahead and do is actually apply another very important optimization to ensure that our process priority with inside of Black Ops 4 is always set to high. All of the machines and configurations I've actually tested this on, I've seen around about a 10 to 15% FPS increase just by applying this next optimization alone. So to do it, it's actually very, very simple and easy to do. What we're gonna do is simply navigate into the FPS pack provided once again, this time going into the optimizations folder, and you'll then find another folder with inside of there called Blops 4 Process Manager. We can then double click on that folder and you'll be given three options. You'll have Black Ops 4 above normal priority, Black Ops 4 high priority, and Black Ops 4 normal priority. Now, when you go ahead and double click on one of these files, it'll actually go ahead and set the process priority for the game itself to any one of these options found here. For everyone watching this video, I'd highly recommend going with the high priority mode as there's yet to be a system I've tested this on which hasn't greatly improved FPS from using it. So what you simply go ahead and do is go over to the Blops 4 high priority key found here, double click on the file, select yes, you will then notify you that the keys and values contained in blah 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 have successfully been added to the registry. Once this pop-up comes up, just simply go ahead and press OK, and that optimization is now complete, and it's just that simple to do. After installing the optimized game config files and actually applying the process priority manager, we can now go ahead and simply boot into the game as we're going to be further tweaking our in-game settings to our personal preference. So simply go ahead to the Battle.net launcher, go to Black Ops 4, and select play. And this brings us on to an extremely important step. To ensure that everything is applied properly from the config in which we've just installed, when you go to boot your game after installing the config, you'll be met with this prompt found here, which is actually the safe mode prompt, or it might say something along the lines of your hardware has changed, do you wish to reset settings or optimize settings? Whatever the pop-up says, make sure that you do select no, otherwise if you don't select no, it'll actually go ahead and set everything back to default settings, and you'll have to come in and repeat the steps to install the config again. So make sure that any prompts that come up when you go to boot the game, you select no. Now once you guys have booted into the game, there are a few quick and simple options in which you going to be setting up to our personal preference and to actually make sure that our game is good to go. To do this we're going to be navigating into the bottom left hand side to the settings icon found here and we're going to start off by going over to the gameplay tab. With inside of here you want to make sure that your mouse sensitivity, all of your key bindings and your field of view settings are all set up and ready to go. We're going to be navigating over to the graphics tab found here at the top. 
Now with inside of the graphics tab, there's only going to be a few options I'm going to be going through as I recommend that you avoid touching any of the other options with inside of the graphics tab as with inside of the configs, a lot of the graphical settings have been reduced further than they can be with inside of the game. So if you start changing around the options for special effects and such like that, you won't be able to get the values as low and you'll have to reinstall the config files. So what I recommend doing is not touching anything else with inside of here besides the stuff in which I recommend that you change to your system specs. Starting off with this, we're going to be going over to display mode, which is going to be one of the most important options with inside of here. We're going to go to the display mode and we're going to set this to full screen. Even if you guys typically play in windowed full screen or multi-monitor, always set this to full screen, especially with inside of Black Ops 4, as I've yet to see a system which hasn't had at least a 10% improvement to overall FPS. I'm personally using windowed full screen as I'm recording this video, and I don't want anything to mess up, but the moment I go to play this game, I'll be switching this back to full screen. We're then going to navigate down to the refresh rate setting, and with inside of here we're going to match this to our monitor's maximum refresh rate. So if you have a 60 hertz monitor, set it to 60 hertz. If you have 144 hertz, set it to 144, and just match this to your monitor's spec. Alongside this, we're going to be going down to display resolution. For the majority of you guys, this will already be set to 1920 by 1080 but I'd recommend setting this to your monitor's native resolution. That then brings us down to render resolution, which is going to be an incredibly important option for some of you guys who wish to squeeze out a little bit extra FPS. If you find yourself after this guide not being entirely satisfied with the FPS gains which you've received, you can come into the render resolution, you can actually start to turn this down slightly, I'd recommend going down to around about 90%, applying this, seeing how it looks in game and if you are happy with it, stick with 90%, if you don't mind going down a little bit lower, maybe dragging it down to around about 80% and applying it and you're happy with how it looks, keep going down until you find that good balance of visual quality and performance. But for the majority of you guys running on medium end and high end PCs, I'd recommend setting this to 100% and never going any higher. But then I'm going to come down to vertical sync and ensure that this this is set to the off position as you should never be using vsync and the only other option with inside of here in which we're going to be touching is actually going to be the cpu priority management we want to make sure that this is actually set to manual the reason we're going to be doing this is because in the last step of the video we actually set black ops to run in high priority mode all the time and if the game is running in automatic the game will automatically change it back down to normal so we want to make sure that this is set to manual once you guys have got all of that set up we can then simply navigate into the bottom right hand side and click the apply button again i'd recommend avoiding any other graphics options with inside of there for the best results possible as they are already set up with inside of the customized config files for the best results. Once you guys are done inside of there, what we can then go ahead and do is actually exit out of the game as we've now set up our game completely and we're going to run through a few more optimizations before we completely finish with this guide. Proceeding on from there, what we can now go ahead and do is actually apply an optimization to Windows itself in terms of the power options to ensure that we're getting the best performance possible in higher intensity programs such as games and higher workloads. And I've seen many people's micro stuttering and FPS issues be fixed entirely just by setting this optimization. So to do this, what we're going to be doing is navigating into the bottom left hand side and typing in power plan. Just like so with the space in between it and you should see the option for edit power plan or choose power plan doesn't matter which of these you click on just ensure that it has this icon and click on the option with inside of here we can then navigate up to the top to the directory and select the power options mode found here at the top we can then go into the drop down menu for show additional power plans and you guys should be seeing balanced high performance and power saver the power plan in which we're interested in clicking on and i highly recommend everyone gets is actually going to be the ultimate performance power plan found here unless you've already manually set this with inside of windows you shouldn't be seeing the ultimate performance power plan. But for any of you guys out there who are on Windows 10, you can actually enable this power plan with inside of Windows 10 extremely easily and quickly. And to see how to do that, you can click on the video on the top right hand side of the screen now by clicking on the little card which is there. If you click on that card, you'll be brought to my video which will show you guys how to enable this inside of Windows 10, coming back to this one and enabling the ultimate performance power plan as you should be seeing great results from having this enabled inside of your PC. For any of you guys who don't wish to follow that video and you just wish to follow this video, you can also go with the high performance power plan, but you won't be seeing as good performance results. Otherwise, if you can, and I highly urge you to, go ahead and select the ultimate performance power plan once you've got it enabled. Once you guys have done that, we can then go ahead and actually exit out of the power options as that optimization has now been completed. What we can now go ahead and do is actually unpark our CPU cores for better performance with inside of Windows and to unlock the full potential of our processing power with inside of Windows itself. And this will greatly benefit you guys in getting the best performance out of high intensity applications like games and other heavy workloads. This is the second most important thing I recommend everyone does on pretty much every single machine, even if it's a laptop. You should be seeing great results from following this and it's completely safe and easy to do. So to do this step, what you'll be doing is you'll navigate into the FPS increase pack once again. Navigate into the optimizations folder and this time going over to CPU core parking setup version 2110 and for a more in-depth explanation as to what this program does you can see in the bottom of the screen now what you'll then go ahead and do is you'll select next accept the terms for the license agreement selecting next once again pressing next and install once the program is installed ensure that the launch option down here has been selected and then press finish 
After a few moments have passed, the program will open up, and you might be prompted that there is a new update available for the program. You can update to this version if you wish to do so, but I'm personally just going to be pressing close. And what we're going to be doing to start off with inside of here is we're going to be changing four simple options. Starting off by going to the left hand side and going to the power data plan drop down menu found here. With inside of this drop down menu, you'll be selecting the power plan you set in the previous step of this video. So if you went with the high performance power plan for Windows, you'll set this to high performance. And if you went with the ultimate performance power plan for Windows, you'll select ultimate performance. Once you've matched that, we can then navigate down to core parking index, which is the amount of CPU cores we're going to unpark, which is going to be 100%, so all of our cores. We're then going to go ahead to the right hand side to frequency scaling index, which is going to be the speed of those cores, again dragging this up to 100%. And last but not least, for some of you watching this video, you'll have the option for Turbo Boost Index, and if you do, again, we're going to be setting this option to 100%. Now, for anyone who might be a little bit concerned with applying these options, this will not make your CPU run at 100% load all the time. It will not increase heat, and it's completely safe to do, so don't panic. I'd highly recommend doing this. So once all of those options have been set, go down to the Apply button found here in the bottom right-hand side, click Apply, press OK, and we can now exit out of the program, as that optimization has now been completed. We can now apply an optimization for you NVIDIA guys out there who are running on an NVIDIA GeForce graphics card. If you're not Running on an NVIDIA GeForce graphics card, you can simply skip around about a minute into this video from this point, and you should be good to go to continue on with the next steps. But for anyone running on a GeForce graphics card, double click on the FPS increase pack, go into the optimizations folder, and this time we're going to be going over to the NVIDIA profile inspector and double clicking. Once the program opens up, you'll be given a screen similar to this, but your options might be different. What we're interested in doing is coming down to the number two section, scrolling down three options, and you should find frame rate limiter mode. Double click on the option to make sure that it's selectable. Then within inside of the drop-down menu found here on the right, which should already be set to default. Go into the drop down menu and select the option for 0x0004 PS frame rate limiter mode 2 underscore control delay flip by flip. Select this option found here, it should look similar to this. What we can then go ahead and do is press the apply button and then X out of the program as that optimization has now been applied. So at this point in the video, we're pretty much done in terms of optimization and maintaining our systems. And what I'd like to do before we continue on with the last and final step is to actually perform a system restart, just to ensure that everything is applied to your system and your system is good to go on a fresh boot of Windows, ready to boot up our game and enjoy our new improved performance. So what we'll do is we'll navigate into the bottom left hand side, click on the Windows button, right click on the power option, and select restart. Restart your PCs, come back to this video, log into Battle.net, and we can continue on. And for the last and final step, what we're going to be doing is actually navigating into the FPS increase pack one last time by double clicking, and this time going into the optimizations folder. With inside of the optimizations folder, we're going to find the time resolution application found here, and dragging this onto our desktop just like so. Now for a quick demonstration and explanation as to what this program does and when you'll use this program, this program is a utility in which will lower your input lag with inside of Windows, and will lower the input lag between your hardware, operating system, and the game application itself. Where this benefits you is it will give you drastically lower input lag, making your game feel a lot more responsive, and in many cases can even boost FPS and just overall responsiveness between everything in your system to just make your system feel a lot more smoother, snappier, and faster. So for a demonstration on how to use the program and when you'll use the program, is before you go ahead and actually decide you're going to play a game, you'll boot into the program by double clicking, you'll then select maximum which will set the lowest input latency possible, you'll then minimize the program but ensure that the program is still running, at this point you'll then go over to your game, in this case it's going to be Black Ops 4 or Blackout, you'll boot into your game, you'll play it for however long you wish to do so, once you're done playing and you've closed the game, you'll then bring the program back up, select default, and you'll then exit out of the program until the next time you wish to use it. And that is it, we have now completed the guide, all of the optimizations have been applied and we're good to boot our game. So the only last thing left to do is to actually go ahead and boot into time resolution, select maximum, minimize the program, head on into the Battle.net launcher, go to Call of Duty, and hit play. And there you guys have it, my ultimate FPS increase guide for Black Ops 4. This will work on all three game modes, being Blackout, Zombies, and Multiplayer, and you should be seeing great results across the board. Remember that you can always go back into your graphics settings and turn things up and down to better suit you in terms of graphics fidelity and performance to find that mix in which suits you and the performance in which you're wishing to gain. As always guys, if you guys did enjoy this video and are happy with the results, if you guys can leave a like on the video, it would help me out tremendously, alongside sharing it around with any friends, family, coworkers, teammates, or anyone that you play Black Ops 4 with, which can benefit from the optimization shared within this video. If you guys can let me know of any results, questions, queries, or suggestions for other content down in that comment section down below, it'll be absolutely fantastic, as it's always fantastic to read through your comments and see what you guys have to say. And last but not least, guys, if you guys do enjoy content like this, please do consider subscribing to the channel and pressing the bell notification to be notified instantly whenever I upload, whether that be updated guides for Black Ops 4 or other optimization videos for practically anything. And last but not least, guys, thank you very much for taking the time to watch this video. I've been Panjano. You are insane, dude. What the...